reference. Fuck it. Piggly. I guess Krieger's not fucking crazy enough, right? I hope I spelled that right. Yep, I missed the E. Whoops. I'm gonna go fix that real quick. Baconator's the name I always give him, though. I'm gonna go... Gentle Nature. Magnet Pull. Oh, that's why! Twin Needle was its fourth move. Okay. I always name my Tepic Lion Baconator. There's, there's a few things that I keep. Yeah, Baconator was Grumpig anyway. I missed I misspelled Piggly. And let's check Piggly out. Mm. I like Earthquake. I really, really enjoy the fact that he has Earthquake. Uh, can I give him a Leaf Blade? <laughs> Ganon Pork. That's kind of funny. Uh, let's go with... Leaf Blade over Twin Needle. Um, it can almost be a mix attacker. Can you learn Fury Cutter? I really like 6th Gen Fury Cutter. And Bowser the Chestnut. Uh, how about Fusion Flare? Because that's good enough to be. Uh, let's get rid of Tailwind, and Sleep Powder is good enough to keep. Take me back to El Pelucid City. And, ladies and gentlemen, it is grind time again. Mute the game. Take off the frame rate limit. And now it's time for you to shine there, there, my buddy at Punk. Seriously? If you're not subscribed to this guy on YouTube, you should be. He's. I actually found him through Game Grumps remixes, but he does really good just music. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to heal. I don't know, I've seen the uh, image on Facebook floating around from Tumblr where it's the um, 
I think from Pokemon the first movie where the one guy punches Blastoise in the face and it's, apparently the guy wasn't a Pokemon fan so he's like ooh Water Bowser didn't like that <laughs> and it was actually kind of funny I thought at least uh you know what I can take the experience share off of worth a damn now she should be able to fight on her own up here had it on her because I caught her at level 12. Ant Man is fucking scary. It was bullshit the first time that I fucking lost him. But it's okay now, I had a rare candy. Oh, that was from Pokemon Origins, okay. I've only watched Origins once, and that was like six months ago. Which isn't much of an excuse from uh, Pokemon the first movie because, well, I haven't watched that in about almost 20 years. if this ever becomes uh, my Friday video on my main YouTube channel if Jay ever gets to it uh, probably gonna have him look for that as a matter of fact since you're gonna be watching this for editing it Jay get on that much grinding. It is one of the saddest fucking scenes of the entire fucking Pokemon series. Where Ash gets petrified by the uh, combined aura spheres of uh, Mewtwo and Mew. Yes, I know this is a first gen movie. Aurasphere didn't exist till fourth gen, but it's totally what it was. Because they were fucking in enveloped in uh, their respective color and fucking blasted this giant ass beam. Ash ran in the middle of it and the two beams collided and bam! Kind of like, um,. And then he just kind of fell over like Vegeta did after using his ultimate attack on Boo, which failed. And I would... Ooh, fuck you, Vulporeon! I don't like you anymore! Even though you were my fucking MVP of Platinum. Pretty much, yeah. Vaporeon scares me. Yeah, we don't need that fucking advertising shit on my stream. Gold mine for streamers. <laughs> Acrobatics isn't going to hurt. Because physical defense is actually decent on Durant. is a joke. If it was Fire Pledge, I probably would have shat myself. Yeah. I don't know, the last time it would, 
one of them fucking came in because you mentioned something about Google Docs and we had to fucking block three fucking bots. He's like, I banned one, and then immediately afterward, another one came in with the exact same name but with a different number appended to the, a the end. And then after that, there was yet another one. I was saying, oh, I used Google Docs for something. I'm like, shut up. Well, Ant-Man's almost at the level I need him to be. Didn't take very long to get him up to 40 levels. Uh, I'm running from Vaporeon. I am not risking an eruption. Especially off of that fucking base HP. Go away, Vaporeon! Nobody likes you! Unless you somehow have the exact same set of Finnegan from Platinum, fuck off! Also, somehow magically joined my party as well. Wants to learn Rock Smash? Ant-Man, what are you smoking? Oh, Sylveon is freaking amazing. Just because it's Sylveon. Actually, uh, Piggly will be the last one I grind up. This actually isn't a good place to grind, but not worth a damn. Yeah, that's right. To the moon! This is probably gonna suck. Yeah, I didn't. Mm, this fight in general sucks, though. Oh, come on! Do I have a flying attack that Worth a Damn can learn? I know I've got an air cutter TM. worth keeping worth a damn on the team. Honestly, at this point, I don't think so. The thing is, there's nothing really to replace her with. I don't know. If, if she can't get air cutter, then yeah, I'm gonna kick her off, because I need things that can actually fight. Hmm. All right, Juno, fly me back to Opalucid City. Let's look at what we have in storage that is alive. Because what I wouldn't give to get Snuggles back.
I'm gonna look at things stats. Sticky hole. Hmm. Damn. Does it really need to be lax nature though? Shit, gentle nature would do better for fucking plate face. Or, you know, a speed negative nature, because who the fuck cares? I already have a firefighting though, so KFC is not going on. I think I can get a water stone. You sure about that? I mean, it's good on defense, but that's just gonna put me in the same place as. Eh. I'm gonna trust you on this one. Uh, is it is Bessie Dawn more geared for physical attacking or special attacking? Because it looks like you can do either. Let's see if we can learn Fiery Dance. Yeah, well. If I can get better coverage, then it's it'll be worth it. Uh, can I learn Leaf Blade? No. Fiery Dance, please? No! Searing shot? Yes. Let's get rid of imprison. And let's see. My physical attacks are a little shitty. Actually, as I've said, with every fucking physical team I've picked up, all of them but like Leaf Blade suck. No, oh, there's chip away. Oh, might as well go with avalanche because I'm slower anyway. Try that then. Piggly has leaf blade, right? So I think Playface might be able to stand well on his own. Be a nice gotcha bitch for fucking water types. Alright. 
point is Plate Face going to be able to withstand? Not really. Hmm. Eh, yeah, Pigly can take it. fly back to Osiris City. Because I don't think that the Kyogres were really capable of doing much. Yeah, the Kyogres didn't have any water type attacks, did they? When push comes to shove, I can go back to Charstone Cave. There's Lugia's on the second floor. Must lap. Oh, that was a bad idea. Haven't gained any levels yet, so he's good. He's got a 25% chance because, you know, Memento is only one move and Healing Wish only works if it can switch. I'm going to go to Charge Stone Cave. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just I'm trying to get everyone caught up to where we can fight in a reasonable area. Oh hey! It's Lancelot! At the level I got Lancelot at! Fuck you too, game. Stone it shouldn't do shit. Eleven hundred experience isn't bad. Oh! It evolves into Bastion on earlier than I thought. I thought it evolved at forty. Wants to learn signal beat. Seventy-five, ninety, hundred. Yeah, no. Why? Has magnet pool. Better than gluttony, I suppose. Still not entirely useful, though. Really? There was time with day constraints? That sounds dumb. Yeah, but steel resists it, and it's a physical attack, and plate phase is built like a fucking truck. So, I, I wouldn't worry too much about plate face. At least when it comes to Stone Edge. Oh, 
that's cool. That's cool. Ah, you can't proc your poison, asshole. Lucky chant, really? Hope I don't run into a Lugia before I get to the doctor. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, physical dark attacks aren't going to do you any good there, uh, Lugi. Special psychic might. Bargo, this could be bad. Oh, wow. It's afraid of my fucking avalanche. Oh, wow, that didn't sh <laughs> that didn't do shit. That wasn't bad experience. Though I really wish I had gentle nature instead of Fucking lax nature. Bolster that weakened special defense. What are you talking about? The lucky egg uh, is experience and a half while it's equipped and experience share doesn't do anything unless it's switched out in which case the user gets half of the experience or 75% of the experience if they were in and switched out oh no it doesn't no embargo doesn't no it just prevents me from using like potions and shit I love this song by the way probably my favorite in the entire soundtrack for Hyrule Warriors very well conveys the helplessness of the situation. Because when it plays, it just shit's going crazy. I should actually probably add that to the list of games I want to play. Though I've never actually finished it in my personal playthrough. And I haven't played it in... Shit, I think I stopped playing it around January? January? 